More People, More Trees, filmed recently in Kenya and Burkina Faso, drew attention to the growing popularity of Grevillea robusta, the silky oak, in the highlands of East Africa. Here, it's become the most important on-farm tree for smallholders. But what explains this phenomenon? After all, Grevillea is not indigenous. Its roots are in Australia, and it made its long trek through India and Sri Lanka as a shade tree for tea, to Africa, where it protected both coffee and tea plantations from the sun. Now the enthusiasm for Grevillea is rapidly spreading throughout East Africa and beyond. The key to its popularity lies in its non-competitiveness. Many on-farm trees compete with crops for sunlight, water and nutrients. Eucalyptus is an example. It grows strongly, but at the expense of the plants beneath its canopy. As farms have become smaller over the last 20 years, so Grevillea has taken over from eucalyptus as the tree of choice for many smallholders. It grows comfortably alongside crops without reducing their yields. Planted on boundaries around the farm, or along contours, it can create the ideal conservation framework to a productive system. But to achieve all this, Grevillea has to be managed carefully. Penina Kilu shows the way on her farm. She keeps her contour line of trees slim and tall through pollarding. That's the removing of side branches. And then through coppicing, she harvests poles and leaves. They have many uses. Benefits? First, there is the shade, and this shade brings welcome fresh air. The second is in the leaves, because if you lay them down in your farm, it becomes really nice, because the goodness of those leaves is the fertility that they bring to the soil. Panina also uses the poles of Grevillea for building, small branches for firewood and for fencing as well. In some drier areas, its greenery provides extra fodder for livestock. It acts as a windbreak and helps to modify the microclimate. Finally, the genuinely multi-purpose Grevillea is a useful source of timber even if its quality is low. Grevillea takes kindly to coppicing. It grows back strongly and quickly to provide a fresh supply of useful branches and leaves. Remarkably, the spread of Grevillea has been almost entirely by farmer to farmer contact. Naturally, Agroforestry has been promoted by governments and agencies alike. But it's the smallholders themselves who've achieved the remarkable results through exchange of knowledge and experience. And they've been supported by private nurseries. Here, in the middle of Machaco's town, women sell trees for planting from their own nurseries grafted mangoes and avocados, budded citrus, and the best seller, Grevillea robusta, the silky oak. Penina started her planting this way. The first trees I bought from Machakos. They were seedlings from a nursery. Now if I want to plant, I take the seed and I plant it carefully. And when they become strong seedlings and the rain comes, I plant them out. Grevillea robusta is no aggressive invasive alien. Far from it. This is a friendly foreigner, which has been welcomed into African small holdings.
Agroforestry systems are key in building resilience, and Grevillea provides one of the very best examples of how a good agroforestry idea can spread. When something makes productive and economic sense to farmers, it's hard to stop it.